hello hello we are live and ready for our red rockets class i'll just give you all a few moments to jump on should be cool welcome as you're coming on guys just let us know your name and where you are from would be really really awesome We will get started in a few moments once everyone is here. Welcome to everyone who's jumped on. So type in your name in the comments and let me know where you have joined us from. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Here we are. Agnes in Auckland. Yay. Hello, fellow New Zealanders. Chloe from Hamilton in Western Vic. Hey, Chloe. Cool. Hello, hello. Hey, students are here. Cool, Leo. Brandon's here too. Awesome. Welcome. Another student of mine from Point Cook. Levi's here. Another student. You guys are awesome. Look at you diligent students coming in for more classes. Well done. Jasmine from Australia. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Alrighty, guys. I'm just going to pop this up and we will get started. If you've got the drawing guides, they're going to help you today. If you don't have the drawing guides, you can private message this page right now. And my husband, who's on the other side, he will email you the drawing guide if you need it. Okay, so if you don't have the drawing guide, send us a message and we'll flick that through to you right now. We've got people from Perth. Excellent. Anastasia and Adele from Perth. Lovely names too. Commander, that's awesome, from Australia. I am here, teacher. Punny. Hey, Punny. Punny Brown from Brotecki in New Zealand. Cool. Awesome. Okay, let's get started. So today we are going to be drawing, I've called them rats. If you were born in 1980s like I was, which none of you were, but your parents may have been, rad means cool, all right? So I don't know if you kids know what rad means anymore. Hello, Ava. So we are going to draw two rockets together first, and we're going to use our drawing guides. And then we're going to draw a cool big artwork that I'm going to show you how to color in with different patterns and things as well. Okay, so grab your paper in front of you. If you have your drawing guide, on the drawing guide there are four different shapes like this. These are some shape ideas that you can use for the shape or the structure of your rocket. If you don't want to do these, if you have your own ideas for a rocket shape, that is A-OK -okay as well, all right? You can totally do that. Now, I am going to draw mine with marker nice and big so you can see them. So I'm just going to actually move the camera a little bit closer to me so you can see. So make sure that you have your bit of paper in front of you. It's going to be better. Cool. You've got your bit of paper and you've got whatever you're drawing with. You can draw with a pen, you can draw with a pencil. I'm going to draw with a marker today. So for my first shape, I think I'm going to do something like this. So I'm going to draw that up nice and big. So you can follow along with me. Let's just pop that to the side. So I'm going to start at the top of my page and I'm going to do a nice curve line coming down to the bottom like so and then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to do the same thing coming around curving it through trying to match those curves as best as you can mine's a little bit wobbly and if yours is that's a-okay as well all right then I'm going to draw a line across the bottom here so I've got a nice rocket sort of like an egg shape kind of like an egg with a point on the end and a flat bit at the bottom okay how are we going we've got our shapes drawn up 
Sienna, Aiden, and Violet are here. Hey guys, more of my students. You guys are super duper cool. All right. Now what I want you to do, on your drawing guide, there's another bit of paper like this. There are three different things that we can draw on here. So these are some different wing ideas that you can put on your rockets. We've got some different ways that we can draw the fire coming out of the rocket because that's really cool when it launches off. And then at the bottom here, we've got different patterns and designs that the rocket has. So it has the little circle windows. Um, we can do some of the small things. And then it's really cool to have some of these uh, just patterns like that. What do they call them? Checkered or stripe or line patterns. So I want you to choose this one, two, three, four, five types of wings up here. Choose one set of wings that you want to put on the side of your rocket. So for instance, I'm going to choose something that is more like this, that's thinner, and I'm going to pop that on the side of my rocket here. So I'm going to do a nice straight line that comes across, and then a long bit down there, so when the rocket shoots up, it can go shoot through the air, and then I'm going to pull that line up on one side. Then I'm going to do the other thing, the other wing, sorry, on the other side. I'm going to come across, going down. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to match them, but what you can do is you, if you pull your hand across like that, you can see how it's matching at the bottom. Then I know I want to hit that line. If I put my hand there, and if I pull, try pull it in a straight line, and I make a little dot, then I can attach those two dots there, and that angle will be similar to that one over there. So it's just a little magic trick for you. Okay, how are we going guys? Let me know how you're going in the comments below. Would you like me to go faster or slower? We've got some warm hearts there. Are we good to keep moving faster? We're good? Excellent. All right. We're good. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the patterns and designs on slower. We've got slower. Done. Okay. Coolio. Let's pop um, some fire on the bottom. So have a look at your drawing guide. We've got one, two, three, four, five different types of fire there as well. Um, and what I mean by fire is, you know, when the rocket blasts off and the fire and the, um, the steam comes out because it's bursting into flames and going up in the air. Not the rocket, but that's the power that it makes it go in. Uh, so pick which one you want. I am going to do something kind of like this, but a little bit wider. Because it's the bottom of my rocket is a little bit wider. So I've got my shape of my rocket, my wings, and the fire for when it blasts off. Now, it's up to you how we go ahead and we can add our patterns and designs on there. So I'm going to put a little line that comes across here with a little curve. So it's going to be like the nice little top of the rocket, like we've got over in the example here. Um, I'm going to pop some little circles for the little windows so the astronauts that are inside the rocket they can see. We go. So let's draw some circles coming down. So you could do them all the same size, or you could do one that gets slightly bigger as they go down, which I tend to like to do. One, two, three little windows. Uh, what else could we do? We could do some little circles on here. The little panels that they have on the wings. And then match it on the other side. Two, three. Okay, so that's our basic structure of our rocket. When we go to colour it in, then we can add the different patterns and designs there. So how are you all going with yours? I'll give you a couple of minutes to finish off your first one. Remember, this is just practice at the moment. 
and then we will go a little bit faster. Well, not faster, we'll get started on the next one. Um, so while you're drawing, give you two minutes to finish off your one. I'm just going to go and add some little patterns on mine. So if you've finished, you can draw some more patterns on yours. You can see what I'm doing. See, I'm just adding like a little ring because they have a nice outside that goes around their ring. Um, I could add some more stripes over here so I could do some cool panels, designs in there later. I could even put the sides to go down through the panels through here. Um, I could do a little panel up the top. Now you don't have to copy these. These are just, just showing you some ideas while you finish off your first one, all right? Cool. Just practicing how to get the shapes and everything done first. So how are we going? We're going good, we're going good. Hey guys. Cool, we're going good. Excellent. All right, I'm going to change now, all right? I'm going to put another one up. You can keep working on your one if you want to, or you can start doing a new one. Okay, there's no pressure to keep going as fast as I am. You can just work on one or two if you want to. You're good, you're good, you're going good. Excellent. Cool, guys. Well done. Okay. Now we're going to go through the same process. We're going to try and draw. We're not going to try. We are going to draw another cool rocket. So I suggest you choose a slightly different shape for your second one. Okay, so again, you can use one of these shapes on the drawing guide or you can use your own ideas. Okay, own ideas are encouraged. So I'm going to do something that's a little bit Kind of like this, but a little bit skinnier, a little bit of a skinnier rocket for this one, for some different ideas. So I'm going to start at the top of my page again. I'm going to do a little curve, and then I'm going to go straight down, like a nice straight one. So this is one of those really, really long rockets. On the other one, mine was quite fat or round. This one's going to have a nice straight edge, almost kind of looks like a big, missile type rocket so curve straight down straight down and then a nice straight edge across the bottom so if we're looking at the shape we've kind of got like a rectangle shape there and a, a triangle shape at the top but with a little curve on there okay the bottom i'm going to do a little panel like this which is where all of the flames come out when it launches or the power comes off and shoots it up and up into the sky. So draw your structure on or draw the shape on of your rocket. And then just like the first one, you can come back to the drawing guide and pick one of the wings that you've done at the top. Okay, or one of your own wings. So one of the wings on the guide or one of your own wings. I'm going to do something that comes out with a curve for this one. And really, really long. And then shoots back up. And then try as best as you can to get it matching on the other side. Pulling that line across. And joining that in there. So I've got my rocket shape, I've got my wings, and then I've got the little bottom. Okay, so I'm going to choose something, do something different for the fire coming off this one. I'm going to do two or three flames coming off. On the other one, I just did one. Cool. 
All right, and now we're going to go ahead and add some patterns and designs on there. So for our previous one, this one here, I drew uh, the windows coming down. For this one, I'm going to do a big window, like a big panel in here. That's not a circle, that's more of a square shape. So it's going to follow the shape of the top of my rocket, the curve. And then I'm going to bring it down. Pull it across. Like so. So it's like a big long panel window on the top of our, our rocket there. And then I'm just going to do a little window frame. And then same thing as you did on the other one. Let's go and add some patterns and designs. So I'm going to put a line across here. I'm going to put a panel and then I'm going to put a little point curve line there that's going to be something different up the top. Now on the sides, different pattern ideas of doing the sort of jagged lines. It kind of looks like lightning. Uh, we could do little circles. And then at the bottom here, that could be made into like a texture, a texture, a chicken pattern. And then you could go ahead and color all those in. Okay, so you've got two rockets there. There's two really cool ideas that you can work with. I'm just going to change my marker. So at the moment, um, kids, we're just practicing, all right? We're just practicing how to draw them. So don't worry if yours isn't finished or if you're still working on your first one. That is okay. We're just coming up with some ideas at the moment. Because it's really, really important when you are planning your artwork that you explore different ideas. Okay, it's a good skill to have. Practicing your drawing skills. Okay. How are you all going, guys? Let me know, please. We're going good, we're going good. Coolio. It does look like a cool rocket, doesn't it? Now we're going to start on our good one, our good copy. So there are two things you can do, kids. One, if you like any of the drawings you've just done now, so I've done two, all right? I've done this one and I've done this one. I've done two drawings. You might have done two drawings. You can color those ones in now if you want. Or if you want to draw, I'm going to do a special artwork. If you want to do one that has two rockets in it, which is what I'm going to do, you can follow along with me. Okay? So option one, especially if you're younger and you're still drawing, you can color in what you've drawn now. Option two, you can copy me or create a cool new artwork like me that has two rockets okay so there's options there depending on how, how um how old you are and how good you are at drawing all right we're all at different stages okay so it's a okay if you're still practicing that's fine okay let's put up a nice new sheet of paper I'm going to try and stick it on well because I'm going to colour in some of this. And when I start to colour it in with watercolours, the paper might curl a little bit. So let's stick it on there. Alrighty. We're going to have two rockets. One's going to be in front of one and one's going to be behind it. I'm going to do something similar. To this example here okay don't freak out that took a long time we'll get started anyway and you can finish it off if we don't finish it off now 
So let's draw a big rocket first that is in the front of the page. So what I mean is you're going to draw a big rocket down here and then we'll do a little rocket behind it. So you have, you might want to draw some of the rockets you've done before or you might want to do a brand new one, okay? So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to draw, what is the shape of my rocket going to be? That's the first thing you need to think. What's the shape? For the front one, I'm going to draw something that's slightly bigger. I'm going to make my rocket sort of go on the side, so it looks like it's shooting that way in the sky. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like so. Okay, so I've got a big rocket that's shooting through there. Now, we need to put the wings on, remember? So you can have a look at your drawing guide or you can make them up. So for my wings on this, I'm going to do things that go nice and curved. Put through. Some cool wings coming off the back. Now, I need to put somewhere down there where the fire is going to go, don't I? So let's put a little panel at the bottom. And then I'm going to shoot off. The fire or the flames. That are going to come out when the rocket launches off the bottom. I've got one rocket shooting through at the front of my page. So I've left a little bit of room up here. I want to draw another rocket on this one, but I'm going to draw it going a different way across here. And I'm going to do something that's a little bit thinner or smaller because that so if something is behind, it will be further in the distance, so it needs to be drawn smaller. So let's draw a a longer one. There's a long straight edge. Like so. So I've got the big rocket coming through the front and out the side. I'm going to put some sharp wings off this one. Straight edges going through there. Now, I can't see the flames on this one because it's behind, so I'm not going to draw them on. So we've got shapes of our rockets. Big one in front, small one behind. We've got some wings on them. I've got flames on this one in the front. Now, I want to start to add some patterns and some designs in there. So, I'm going to pop a little curve like we did when we were practicing. So then that almost looks like the tip of the rocket. Um, I'm going to pop another little line that comes through here. For a little panel at the bottom. So I've got one, two, three sections of my rocket. Uh, right, and here I'm going to do some windows. Couple of windows there. Window frame. Uh, this one. This one I want to have a big window, not a circle window. I'm going to do a square window on this one. So I'm going to go curve, pop in the windows. And again, I'm going to give it a little bit of a, a frame. Okay, so structure of our rocket, wings. Have you got some flames? Have you got some windows? And then, 
10 or bigger. Okay. So, I've drawn in the shapes of my two windows. Now we're going to colour it in. I'm going to use my watercolours to start with, okay? Because they're really, they're quicker for me to colour in. And I'm going to paint in some of the colours. Then I'm going to show you how to put some patterns on top. If you don't have watercolours, that's okay. You can use whatever you have at home. You could use uh, textures or felts if you're in New Zealand. You can colour those in. You could use coloured pencils, markers, or if you only have a pen or a marker, you can even just do it in black and white because that looks quite cool too. So let's get started with colours. All right, I'm going to start with some nice orange. So I've got some water on my brush. Getting some nice orange in there. Now, these are going to be rad rockets, so they're going to be bright and colourful. So you can do as many colours on your rockets as you want. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint some of the areas. So I might paint the tip of this rocket up here a nice bright, nice bright orange. Um, this is going to look nice being orange too. So let's get some more paint on our brush. And we'll paint the body of the rocket there, the main section of the rocket in this beautiful bright orange. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask some questions in the comments while I'm painting. Cool. Oops. Sorry. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, I So how are we going guys? We're drawing some really cool rockets over there on the other side of the on the other side of the computer screen where you are. You can ask me any questions you need to, or you can just keep working away and we can paint and draw together. And then at the end of the class, you can share your work with me, which will be really, really awesome. So I'm going to give you some cool ideas today. You might not get yours finished, but you can finish it whenever you have the time and share it with me. Okay, so I've got some nice orange going in there. All right, now I'm going to also, while well, I've got some orange on my brush, we're going good, thank you. I'm going to paint my blades. Now I'm going to do a magic trick. So we're going to put some orange just around the outside. See I'm just going around the outside of it there. All right and then I'm going to put some yellow on my brush. And I'm going to paint in the center there. So it blends it from kind of like an orange through to a yellow. How's that? Magic trick for you. All right, now second color. Let's grab a nice, get a different one. I've got a nice red here that works really, really well. So, Paint the bottom of this, this really bright red. It's almost fire engine red. How creative do we have to be? Very good question. As creative as you can be. 
you'll know at the moment all we're doing is just popping the colors on I'm going to show you how to be more creative by putting different types of patterns on okay so I'm going to help you and give you some ideas it's a great question Nice fire engine red coming in there. Okay, and put some red in the window there. Now the windows probably aren't red, but you know what? That's okay. We're doing as many different colorful colors as we want. blue in there as well because the blue is going to go really nice with the orange now my students know most of my students who come to my studio know that orange and blue are complementary colors so what that means is they are opposite colors or they contrast with each other so when you put orange and blue together it looks really really good I'm going to put some nice blue on the wings of this rocket next to the orange there. Nice blue. Oops, it's dribbling a bit. That's all right. That nice blue strip down the bottom there. Okay. All right. Some blue up on here. Okay, one more color. Let's get a nice, got this really nice sort of a lime green color here. Get some lime green in there. So I'm going to paint the wings of this nice lime green. And then let's paint the top of this rocket green as well. And then the final color I'm going to add is a really nice yellow. Trying to clean my brush as much as I can so I don't get the green in my yellow. Yellow coming through here. My watercolors are running a little bit, but that's okay. We'll fix that up when we paint over it a bit more. And then I want a yellow strip through the bottom. So at the moment, you can see we've just put in some color. We've got, don't really have many patterns on at the moment. So now what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to dry it with my hair dryer. Now, it might be a little bit loud, okay? So you'll need to either turn your thing down or put your hands in your ears. accident that happened okay so sometimes because I'm painting my mine up high like this yours is probably on a page and a little bit of water there and it made some of that paint run on my page now that can kind of be cool though all right I actually quite like that effect and we do that a lot in our studio as well which some kids can um can use as well so now what we're going to do is we're going to put some patterns and designs over top so there are a few things you can use. You could use, um, if you've got some textures or some markers, you could use those. You could, um, you could also use pencils, right? Or I've got some of these, these Posca paint pens, which are really cool, where I can paint over top. So I'm going to show you how to use all of them. Um, someone just asked me a question, how do you send your work to me? You post your work, once you've finished, you post it in the comments on this video, okay? So then all the kids can see it, all right? So don't private message it on our page so everyone can see it there. Okay, all uh, right, I'm going to start with my green colour pencil and I'm going to shade over top and add some more color just on my little green bits that I've got there just to brighten it up a bit like so okay on my yellow down here let's do a pattern so I'm going to use uh, what should we use I'm going to use my texture my red texture I'm going to do some triangles like so okay and then I'm going to color in just the ones that are at the top Okay, so then we've got, it's almost like a, a triangle, like a tooth pattern going over there. I could use my yellow and I could now colour in my windows. So you see how I'm using all of the same colours and repeating them. That's another idea. Um, all right, I think black and white, black and white looks really cool with lots of colors. So along here, I'm going to do my checkered pattern. So I'll put a line, and then I'm going to put lots of little lines going along. Okay, and then Colour in, colour in the opposite ones. So we've used our colour pencils, we've used our textures or our felts. Got some marker there for using our checkered pattern. We have 
a triangle pattern um, now we could do some circles on top so you could use your black marker or what would happen I don't know how well this I'm going to try my red and I'm going to draw some circles onto that bright orange paint that I've put on there with the watercolours. Looks like my rocket's got chicken box. How's that look? Cool? And then if you want it to stand out even more, you could use your marker again. And you could even go around the outsides of those circles. Like so. Very cool, huh? All right, down the bottom, I'm going to show you my paint pens. Now, these paint pens are really good because it means usually if I was to pop a yellow texture over a red, you wouldn't be able to see it. But with the paint pens, they work really well to cover it. So I'm going to draw some circles. Hopefully my paint pen is going to work, which it's not. All right, let's try the blue. Yes. Draw some blue circles with my little paint pen. So I'm just drawing the outsides of the blue and then inside, hopefully, I'm going to draw Okay, like that. All right, on the wings, what could we do? We could do some cool jagged shapes that look like stripes going through the wings. So, let's draw something like this. Grab my marker pen or my texture. Cool stripes. And then you could do a different color as well. I'm going to grab my green. Lots of cool shapes there. Alright, how are we all going? So these are just some ideas. You've done your painting part, awesome. Cool. So you can, I'm gonna upload this video so you can go back and you can rewatch it and get some more ideas from me, alright? Here, I'm gonna do this pattern, but I'm gonna do it up here as well. I'm going to pull some lines from the top. Curves, okay? And then I'm going to colour in every second one.
talking to you guys, all right? Would you like me to do the other one or should we leave it there? If you'd like me to color the other one in with you, let me know. Otherwise, we can pause and you can carry on working on your one. So let me know if you want me if you want me to do this one with you I can otherwise I can let you go and you can finish yours off and share it with me because we've been 50 minutes and that's quite a long time for you kids should I do the second one yes no Oh. You guys are focusing on your work. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. I'm going to come up some different ideas down here. I'm going to show you another pattern actually that I didn't show you before. This is a, um, it's kind of like a flower pattern that I want you to do. Actually, we'll start it up here, shall we? I'm going to find the center of my shape. Then I'm going to go some curves to the center like so. So I've got a nice curvy going through there. And then I'm going to do another little petal inside the petal. Okay, now I'm going to repeat it down here so you can see it a little bit better. You can see those there, can't you? Cool. And then I'm going to color those in for you. Cool. All right. Uh, what else did we do? We can do some patterns down the sides that will help you. I'll show you a stripy one. Getting all the tricks from me today. Okay. So, draw your lines all the way down the side. And then come over and do the same on the other side. Like so, and then I'm going to color in just kind of like I did with the checkered one every second one. And come over to the other side, start at the top. Going in every second section that we've done with our lines. Like so. Very cool, huh? You're the best. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I've been practicing. All right, what should we do up here? Um, what's something I haven't shown you? Oh, yeah, okay. Let's do like, kind of like the checkered one, but with crisscrosses in it. So you can go, draw your panels or your shapes, divide it up into squares. So we've got squares there. And then instead of coloring them in, just put a little crisscross, like knots and crosses inside them. Like that. I'm just gonna bring the camera forward for you guys so you can see what I've got there. See? Okay, so we've got all those different pattern ideas drawn up there for you. 
Okay guys, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to post this video for you though, okay? So you can come back, especially if you still want to finish off some of these and you can um, pause the video and you can zoom in and see what I've done there. So if I give you a good shot, I'll also, I'll take a photo of this for you, okay? And I'll put it in the comments at the top so you can see the picture I've done for today to get some more ideas. But thank you so much, guys, for joining us. I hope you've had a lot, a lot of fun. If you want to do any more live art, there are about six other ones that are posted on this Facebook page. So if you go to our playlist and you'll see a whole lot of different ones there. We've got cats, cartoons, flamingos, uh, what else have we got? Dinosaurs, monsters, some really, really cool stuff. Okay, guys, so have lots of fun. Keep creating your beautiful pictures and please below and I've had a great time with you. Thank you guys. Thank you to all my super duper cool students who tuned up as well. You may be proud. All right, guys, I will see you sometime shortly. Keep creating.